Hey, Ray here. Welcome to It's All About the Cocktail. So, I know I haven't put out a video in a little bit, and that's partly because last weekend, our friends Mike and Sophie Mayshack came by, brought over, we were going to make some tiki drinks, okay? So they also brought with them a bottle of excellent rum, Dr. Bird Jamaican Potsta rum. We made a few, few tiki drinks, called some other people over. Well, one thing led to another, and we used up all the or, orzat that we had. So orzat is like an almond syrup that is used to make in Mai Tais. So I, I decided, since I don't have any, I used up all the, all the stuff he brought over and all the stuff I had on hand. I figured I'd, I'd make some on the stove. And at the same time, show you how easy it is to, that you can make at home. So I tried it out in a, in a Mai Tai here. I tried it out with, with this Dr. Bird. This Dr. Bird is, is pretty strong stuff. It's 100 proof, so I probably, well, I'll do a Mai Tai video, but I'll make it with something more easily store bought because this stuff's kind of hard to get. So I'll make it with stuff you can buy at the store. But I figured I want to try how the Orzat turned out on the stove, and it turned out really well. It's turned out really good in this drink. That's a really good drink. I mean, it's not that hard. All you really need is you need some, some almond milk, granulated sugar. You're going to boil that on the stove. And then you're going to put in some almond extract. Uh, you know, they, people have recipes for for orzat, and they blanch almonds, meaning they put them on the stove, boil them, and then take the skins off. And that much too much too much, much too much a hassle for me. Probably really good, but I really don't have time for that. So I'm going to show you how to do it easy on the stove. Easy way, and it keeps them on hand. Now I cut the recipe I had in half, and I still have enough to fill up a big, a big bottle. So I'll show you just how easy it is. And I want to get something out there and tell you that I'm still on this. I'll have the Orzat recipe soon, real soon, and I will have a Mai Tai recipe coming up right for that. And I might even get together with with Shaq, as we call him, and we'll make some other tiki drinks. He's got a few that he made really well. We had a good old time. And I think we'll bring you some, some tiki drinks coming up. So. Today we're making homemade orja. So what we will need is one cup of almond milk unsweetened. Put that in a pan and two cups of sugar. Now we're going to boil that over medium heat for three to five minutes until the sugar is completely dissolved. Okay, so now that the sugar has all dissolved into the almond milk, what you want to do is you're going to add one tablespoon of almond extract. Two tablespoons of a brandy or a cognac. And then one half of a teaspoon of almond flour water or almond blossom water. It's very potent, so you don't need very much of that. Turn, make sure that your heat is off by the time you're doing this. And then stir that together. Let that chill and put that into an airtight container or a jar and refrigerate. And that's it. Well, I hope hope you enjoyed that uh, recipe, how to do it on the stove. I mean, is that easy or what? I mean, you can buy store bought stuff. I mean, if you don't want to go through all that, you can buy you can buy stuff store bought from your liquor store that carries lots of stuff. You can order online. You can or you can buy store bought stuff if you don't want to go through that. But I I just showed you how easy that is. You know, what did that take? Not even five minutes. 
I mean, it's, it, and the cost savings is great. And it tastes so much better. So stick around because I'm going to make some more. I'm making some more tiki drinks on the pike. So I would like you to subscribe to me. Hit the bell. This way you're notified of all the content I do put out. And I would like to thank you for tuning in. Do me a favor, shoot me a comment. Tell me if you like tiki drinks. And uh, I'll be talking to you soon. So just remember, at the end of the day, it's all about the cocktail. I'll see you just in time for the next round. I'll see you later.